is the sound of the killer bass But I need a serious sound Everybody up the up and try your hands in the air If you feel the Irish and the left Previously on Alien Isolation. All right, but you you know we, what we have to do, right? But uh, you know it's also not going to happen because this game, what this game does, is tell you to do one thing, but then <laughs> before you know it, you got to do five other things to get the first thing you want to do. <laughs> uh, I hate it. Hello. Would you like to try some crispy chicken? Oh, come on. Don't make me waste this shit on you. Fuck you. No, no, no. God damn it. I was in the counter. I jinx myself every single motherfucking time. 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 I hope you're far enough away for me to. Uh, fuck it. One, two, three. Fuck yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so I missed that log, sorry. I just wanted to get out of there. Honestly, I just want to get this done. We've already been at it for 40 minutes. Last time, like I said, it took me an hour and a half. We've died twice. I, I can't afford to die again, otherwise I've died more times than I, I would have the first time. Uh, all right, find a way to for the torrents to dock. I will. I will find a way. Abandoned station. Abandoned station. Oh, okay. One, well, I missed that log, but there's one log. Come on, one log over here that I didn't get last time. Because if you look at this place, you may recognize it. This is very first where I came into the station. No one was here. It wasn't on fire. Then these shutters closed when the torrents flew by. And we were like, hey. But yeah, this door back here, I never came in because I totally forgot I was here. But there is a Nostromo log inside that I didn't listen to. Let's see who it is. Because we've listened to, so far, a couple of the guys. Uh, maybe it's one of the, oh, EMP V3, I didn't get that either. Dallas. Yeah, there's 10 of those uh, Nostromo logs, and I think uh, there's only, there's not too many of the crew either. There's like, I think there's like seven crew members, seven or eight, maybe eight. That doesn't matter, but uh, there's 10 logs I've heard so far, I think four, I think. I haven't kept count. Eventually, I think I'll go back and listen to them all, because it is cool little extra bonus content. But primary goal right now, escape the station. For we are falling out of the sky, burning up in the atmosphere, well, eventually, of the gas giant. Boop. Toe platform. Okay. Yeah, this is the last level too. We're on the final, final level. So, let's get through it. Yeah, I know there's not a lot of time. I think the alarms and the fire and the dramatic ass music is, uh, you know, enough. Verlaine, can you hear me? Are you close enough for radio contact? I'm here. I don't want to walk. Yeah, because that's why. There be aliens. And they want to eat me. And there's a guy right here. Oh, could this man be alive? No. Nope. 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 I found you, bitch. Come on. 
Come on. Alien, you want to avenge your friend? No? Good. Come on, come on. Orbital stabilizer array backups are offline. Yep. That means we are falling out of the sky. Oh, right. We're locked out. We got to come here last. There are things to do uh, in the walls or under in here, I think. There's a thingy in here. Open, open. Uh, that's not who I was looking for, but cool. Yeah, all those sounds not filling me with confidence here. There's no... The alien isn't here yet. We can... We can do this. We can totally do this. Alright. So we gotta pull this lever. Do it! Cool. That's good. Get out of here. And, uh... There, she said there was two things. I believe they are... What the fuck was that? Thought I heard a face hugger. Climb out. Anyone? All right, hack it. Perfect, got one. That's right, one down. One more to go. It's right over there. I see it. You're not here. Please don't be here. Please. Give me the tag. Come on. Come on. Just one more hack. Got it! Okay. I'm doing- would you- ah, God, why are sci-fi sounds so scary? Clankity clunks and the chunkity chanks. I'm glad I took care of you. Oh, more flamethrower fuel. The sweet nectar of life is what that is. Seriously. Utility. Got it. Alright, docking clamp. So, yeah, that's the torrents right there. It's the torrents. Find the upper control room. Well, I don't want to do that. Oh, shit, back up that way. I'm a risk walking. It's so loud in here. If the alien can hear me, like... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, this way. I don't want to get turned around at the very end here. That would suck. Donkey dick. Uh, yeah, I don't think we want to descend down to the depths of hell. So I'm gonna search all of these because uh, there might be hidden flamethrower fuel everywhere. I don't know. There could be. I mean, why you would keep flamethrower fuel just lying around? I don't know, but I, I, I want it. Like I said, it's the nectar of life at this point. Oh, I hear, I hear something. I hear a thump thumping. Oh, spawn location. Spawn location. Why does this take forever? It's seriously, uh, it's like a four second thing. That's flamethrower fuel. Yes, baby. I don't think I had this much last time. That's good. We can keep the alien at the bay. There is no personnel umbilical. It's long gone. What? Wait. I think I can use the maintenance rig instead. If I can find an EVA suit, I can still get to you. Be careful, Ripley. Boom. Yeah, maintenance That's rig. It. You have to go on a spacewalkity walk. Yeah, but if you look right here. Das ist der Torrens. Torrens, there it is. So yeah. The rig. So we need to get on that thing to get on the ship. I gotta applaud Verlaine for staying in orbit with this thing. This 
we're decaying constantly. We're falling towards the goddamn planet. Shut up, alarm! No one asks you for your opinion. Hold on, flamethrower fuel? Ow, ow, burning, burning, hot. Hmm, I better heal myself, just in case. If the alien decides to punch me, or manhandle me, alien handle me, it could kill me. Fuck you! Fuck you! You are not ruining my day today. I'm leaving, and you're leaving me alone. Come on, we're almost out of this hellhole. Fuck you! You scared the shit out of me, I totally forgot. No. Shut up! Oh, you want some of this? Oh! Hey. You're supposed to be afraid of fire. You know that, right? Fucking cock. Space suit on. Get the space suit on. Get the space suit on. Maybe he can't kill me in this animation. Maybe. Why did everything go quiet all of a sudden? It's like, ah, yes. The space suit. Oh, no. No! I don't want to die! Where am I? Where are you taking me? Where am I now? Yeah, I was like, why did everything go quiet all of a sudden? Hello? Am I conscious? I hear creepy music. I want to be alive. Oh shit, you know what happened. You know what done did happen. We got a face hugger, unless that one unopened egg is about to be a face hugger on our face. Come on, how are we gonna get out of this one? Okay, oh sweet. We're, man, they, they sh did a shitty job restraining Fuck. me to this. Yeah. Let's go. Most people can't escape that, but maybe they're panicking because their home's on fire. Man, they have expanded their nest, haven't they? I'm done with all these fucking assholes. There's an egg in here somewhere. That's an egg. Alright. Alright. Any more, you fuckers? Fuck you and your damn scary sounds. I'm done with this shit. Man, we've... Our ammo is almost gone. Hang on. I hear you. Yeah! 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. You wanna fuck with me? I'm Ripley. You can't stop me. Okay. Keep this ready for any more f face huggers of the hugging kind. I think we're good. Alright. Nope, we're not good. No, it was behind me! Fuck! Damn it, that means I've died more times. I've died more times now. Shit, I forgot he was coming behind me. I should have checked. I should have fucking checked. Fuck that egg. Fuck that egg. Should have checked. Oh well. I don't care. There's not a lot to this anymore. Put in the bullets. Put in the bullets. Okay. I'm ready for you bastards. Yeah, last time I, I guess I was just more on edge. Because I heard all those guys. Damn. That took way longer. Put one more shotgun in here. Okay. So, reload this thing. Get ready for that fucker to come behind us. Yeah, see, I I wasn't paying attention. I guess maybe, I don't know, my 3D audio wasn't quite hinting, hinting me enough. Whatever, we're going. 
Shotgun shells, yes. Put one in here. All right, crawling through the wreckage of what looks like a tram. Yep, this is definitely the trans tram. Uh, gotcha. I didn't even see you, but I gotcha. You're not getting on my face anymore. I can tell you that. My face is off limits. It's too pretty for you bastards to fuck up. Oh, hello. Yeah, fuck off. That's what I thought. Yeah, go away. Thank you. They're really fucking with me, aren't they? They could have easily just killed me. I even burned that guy in the face. And he was like, nah, I'm gonna not kill you today. Oh my god, how many of these goddamn eggs are there? The shotgun's the best. Alright, let's go, go, go. Great. Oh my god, how much shit do we... We are the baddest bitch in the goddamn galaxy to just survive all this. I mean, ser seriously, how much shit have we gone through? So much, so much shit. Like no one human being could have uh, taken all of this shit and being like, yeah, I'm totally fine. Everything's trying to kill us. Can I just search through these? There might be things I want. Flamethrower fuel, please. Come on. Compound B. All right. Okay, down the stairs, uh, stairs, I mean ladder. <laughs> I know my stairs from my ladders. We're getting through this. We are getting through this. We didn't come this far to just die. <gasps> Yay, flamethrower fuel. The, oh, more. Oh, yes. The elixir of life is what this is. Okay, proceeding with a shotgun, because I have a feeling... Face huggers want to hug my face. Whoa! -ho -ho! Well, I'm glad I didn't go out there. Just let me make it through. Yeah, here. please. Whoever the fates are, are willing. Yeah, that was a train. Even the trains are trying to kill us now. But yeah, you can see how fast they're going. Yeah, it's hot. Uh, oh! I didn't even realize what that was. Oh yeah, I, dude. I realized what that was when I saw the lights and at that point it was already... Too close. <laughs> yeah, girl. Uh, tell me about it. As long as I only see a shining light of doom, that would be perfect. Okay, don't, don't take my head off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I saw that coming. <laughs> yeah, we I think we all knew that was gonna happen. We're almost done, Ripley. I mean you are the baddest bitch. God, I love I love Ripley. I think I'm in love, guys. I I'm I'm serious I'm in love. Okay, run through here. You're not gonna get me. Everything up here? Dead end. All right, I guess in the vent we go. I hear you. I'm ready to burn you. Where are you? Where are you? See you in there, I hear you too. Fuck you! Alright, that's like all my shotgun ammo. I got one bullet for everything. And I wasted way more of the flamethrower than I wanted. But we're good, we're still alive. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Come on. 
I know we're close. I know we're so very close. Uh-oh. Another elevator that's gonna try and kill us. On the ladder. Uh, down the ladder. Quickly. Quickly. It's gonna fall on our face. It's gonna crush our beautiful body. Or our figure's not gonna be as great. I know I keep thinking of... Uh, oh! Forgot that was gonna happen. I forget where to go. Oh, right. Over here! Berlain! Berlain, are you there? Please tell me! Yeah. I don't wanna. Release the torrents. Okay, yeah, let's not take the spacesuit covered in alien slobber. Maybe that probably might obscure our visibility. If you could just be a little faster about grabbing the damn thing and putting it on your face. Okay, so here's the situation. The We're now seriously falling out of the sky because, uh, I mean, we're listing a little to the uh, the right here. All right, into the airlock, and out the airlock, into space! All right, there's the Torrens right there, and uh, uh, we need to need to get on that ship for it is our only way out of here. Okay, don't don't tur turn on the thrusters just yet, Berlaine. I'm kind of behind you right now. I don't want to burn. I'd rather keep my uh, keep my face, keep all, everything, because uh, that, that would hurt a lot. Come on, let's do this. But yeah, look at this, how cool this is. Everything is falling apart. The whole station is ripping itself to pieces. It's like we're on a c c comet, an asteroid of enormous size. But we must escape, for otherwise we will burn in that gas giant. Thing is, aren't we a little high to be burning up? I don't know. I don't know. I will not question the science, because this is a sci science fiction game. But, uh, yeah. At least we're rid of the aliens, and obviously we can't combat in this bulky-ass thing, so we're good for now. Come on. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. There's not much left. Let's just get on this tram, I guess. And it will get us to the ship. Come on. Yeah, I mean, look at this thing. Look at the station. Look how big that is. My god. Everything's just falling apart. It's really cool. But, uh, you know, in no normal circumstances, I think one would be very panicked in this situation. But I just admire the beauty. I mean, look at that thing. This makes you think how big the station really was, you know? It's no wonder we got lost and were chased. And now, the iconic climb to the top of the steps. And as long as there's no xenomorphs up there, I'll be Gucci. Come on. Here we go. So here we we will release. Yep. There should be two priming mechanisms to unlock manual release. I see them. Prime the release mechanisms key card. Hold, pull down. Grab the key card and insert the key card. That's one. There's, th there's still one more. This side, we can do it. There you go, pull that down. Grab the card. Insert card. All right, we're almost done in here. It's very much like the last movie.
Wouldn't you want this to be a faster, you know, thing? I guess maybe they didn't have, uh, emergency unclamping in mind, you know, dock to a station that's about to explode. This is such a slow process, it's like the intense moment of the game, but it's like, okay, just watch the animations, come on, let's roll, let's roll. Stick that in there, twist it, twist it, twist it, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, and slide it out, slide it back in. Thing is perfect. Oh, right, there's a button under there. I forgot. Come on, last one, baby. Last one. Why is the clamping mechanism so complex? Why? Why would this like pressure pressure situations should never have such an intricate way of. Uh, Okay, I'm hooked on to something. Whoa! Oh, the ship. Yeah, I'm hooked on the ship. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, God, fuck you! Fuck you! No, no, no! Uh, see, I knew they could be in space, but, like, I really didn't want them to come follow me in here. Just go away. Oh, my God. The, 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 the... Oh, God. Oh, I think we're... we're... Whoa! That is awesome! I don't think it's over yet, guys. I think there's still one more alien that will kill both Verlaine and her co-pilot. And we will bridge. have to flush that son of a bitch out the airlock. Because that would be the iconic way to finish this thing. Truly. So, I mean, check this ship out. It has to be, right? We're not going to have any weapons. We might have the motion sensor and maybe our gadgets. But I don't think we're going to have any guns. So, Verlaine? Oh, yeah. She's not answering. There you are! I knew it! Hello. Uh, I really want you to go away. I can't really do much in this bulky-ass spacesuit. I really need you to leave. I'm gonna... Oh, it's a quick time event. What happened? That was the airlock sound. Is he is he gone? Oh no! We're in space. Are we alive? See, thing is, we have to live. Because in the second movie, we find out that we grew old and died of old age. So, someone's gonna find us. There it is. Sequel, baby! Are we done? Is that it? Please. I mean, obviously. There it is. It's dedicated to the memory of our friend and colleague, Simon Franco. Well, I'd say that's a great dedication right there. That This was a fantastic game, guys. Oh, it only took me a year and a half <laughs> to finish. <laughs> over, over a year and a half. Oh, man. I mean, obviously, I didn't play for the most of that time, but still, I think I poured, like, over 20 hours into this, just trying to get through it. I recommend not putting it on hard on the first go if you ever do play it for yourself, but, uh, thank you for joining me. This was the, or, man, it's crazy, crazy. I'm gonna listen to the music, because the music, again, so many great things to say about this game. For a horror game, fantastic. Yeah, that was, uh, Ellen Ripley's voice. Sigourney Weaver. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to say, so many great- For a horror game, it has to be my favorite, because A, sci-fi, my favorite genre of all time. Secondly, the alien universe. 
I love it. I mean, it's old school, sure, but the first two Alien movies are still great today, even though they were made, first one came out 1979, second one 1985 or four, four or five. I can't quite remember. I think it's 1985. Might have been even 1986. Not sure. I'll put, there, there'll be a title. Anyway, those two movies, some of my favorite sci-fi movies, and just to be thrust into the world with so much detail, this, the freaking art and animation, everything in this game looked fantastic, it was smooth, fluid, there were some graphical glitches here and there, but really it didn't take away from the experience, it wasn't like, oh, that looks like shit, it was all fantastic, music, great, Jerry Goldsmith, yeah, he, he composed uh, the original score for the first Alien movie, and they l used a lot of the main titles, and looks like end titles, it's awesome, uh, and whoever did the rest is great. The AI, I guess that would be the weakest link of this. The AI was pretty dumb at times. I would like be right in front of them. Any real human person would have at least been like, what's that? Checked it out. We could have been just like, hi, been fine. I think there might be nightmare mode. Maybe the AI is even crazier than that. I don't want to do it. I don't, <laughs> don't want to put it on that. Hard, hard was hard enough, man. I'm gonna have a death count at the at some point. Just compile all the deaths, and I know it's probably gonna be over 30. So <laughs> look forward to that, uh, and also scare montage probably because there were the very many situations where I was terrified. Like the, the scare, most scared I've been playing a horror game. I've played Doom, but I, then I stopped because I was scared. But the, I, I am 25 years old, and I, this game was still scary to me. Ugh. But it. it key to being getting scared guys dark room get a dark room only lights you want to have are from your monitors and in front of you to like light your face if you ever want to record your face or something but that's it that'll that'll take it to the next level vr virtual reality probably be the best because then you, you know everywhere you look you're in the game but this is the closest i can emulate for having like two screens it's like almost vr nothing else i can see just the game that's the way you want to do it that's horror in general just movies everything Everything black, except for what you're looking at. Um, characters were great. I loved Amanda Ripley. Probably my new favorite female protagonist. Such a badass. I mean, she looks great. She she just, she just sounds great. She uh, She's great in every way. Seriously. Uh, I can't wait for a sequel. I, they have to make a sequel. I mean, obviously. The way they ended that, cliffhanger style. Yes. And this was... This was... Um, like I said, Game of the Year for PC Gamer Magazine, a few other uh, other uh, publishers or um, like review sites made it the Game of the Year, and it's easily you can easily see, easily see why. Uh, it's fantastic. I really don't have any more praise. I mean, all all I can say is I love this game, and I I will play more. I will p play the uh, DLCs. I kind of want to go back and get those Nostromo logs. I don't know how that's gonna work. Because uh, a lot of those areas I, I couldn't access even after I had like the ion torch. I don't know how to, how to get back, so we'll, I'll have to look into that. But I want to hear the original uh, actors read out some dialogue because it gives you backstory. It's really cool. I love a good story, and this the story in this my favorite part. Obviously, in a single player, you have to have a good story, otherwise, like it's no fun playing it. And I was enjoying being a part of this story. It was so great. And games these days so, so cinematic, like. You're, they're really putting you into the movie. I love it. All right, I'm just gonna sign off here. If I have anything else to say, you'll hear my audio, but uh, video's going out. Uh, this is Zion Akeko. I wanna thank you for joining me on this epically insane, horrifying, terrifying adventure. We finally did it, guys. <laughs> All right, peace out. Signing off.